What's up guys, my name is Tecnobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got an interesting video for you which is basically how to check what parts are inside of your PC without actually having to take it apart first. There have been so many times when I've had to open up my PC to look at what kind the RAM is, what brand my hard disk is, etc, etc, because I just don't remember what those parts exactly are. It's a lot of effort to get up, go down, open up your PC case, take a couple of things apart here and there, look in with a torch and try not to get your fingers chopped off by one of the spinning fans. There's in fact a much easier way of doing it and that's actually built into Windows. Now of course there is an easier way of doing this, this is purely just how to do it from the Windows command line. It's pretty useful, but it also has its niche purposes like writing it into a batch script so you can run it later on, run it multiple times, etc, etc. Just makes things a little bit easier. Of course, you can do it the easier way just by hitting start, typing in system information, opening that up. You'll see a window similar to this where you can go into hardware resources, components, software environment. And you can look around at, say, your display information here, CD-ROM information here. I don't have one plugged in, so that's why it's blank etc etc and all the information is here however it's not exactly in the easiest format that you can copy it out to a text file and send it to someone over the internet you'll end up writing it out by hand but anyways this is how to do it via the command line it's called wmic it's a super simple super easy to use tool it's a little bit confusing with the keywords that they use for each different part however there is a link in the description down below to a list which is this one over here now, before I go through exactly what this is, all I'm going to do is open up command prompt by holding in start and pressing R, typing in CMD and hitting enter. Then you see this command prompt window over here. All we need to do is type in a WMIC space the part that we want. So I'll say CPU space get hit enter and it'll pump out basically all of the information regarding the CPU. It's displayed a bit weirdly because this is not big enough to show everything as it should be. So there's a super simple way of fixing that. So I'm going to create a folder on my desktop. You can call it whatever you want. And inside of it at the very top, we'll just simply select where the uh, title of the folder is. And we'll type in CMD, hit enter. And you'll see that this is now open inside of this folder over here. So if I type in WMIC CPUs get as I did before, but I press space, put a bigger than sign, space followed by a file name, so I'll just call it out.txt, hit enter. Everything that this command spits out will then go into this out.txt file. So opening it up, you'll see it looks something like this. If we go to the top where it says format and click word wrap, we can fix how it's displayed and you can see everything laid out as it should be. So you can see a bunch of different information over here. If I scroll across to here, you'll see name, AMD Ryzen 9 3900X, number of cores, number of enabled cores, and a ton of different information over here. But as you can see, there is a hell of a lot of information here that we don't actually need. And we had to scroll across to find out what the part is actually called. So that is the get command. It'll get you absolutely everything. There's another one over here that is documented down here called list brief, where it basically gets just a little bit of information that's usually more than enough. So you can close that of the notepad file, you could delete it or you could leave it there. But I'm going to type in WMIC CPU space and now I'll type in list space brief enter. And it'll give us a short response like this that we don't even need to print into a file. Of course, if you wanted to, you can simply add the greater than sign out.txt. I typed that wrong, but you can see either way it's saved. Opening with Notepad, there it is. So that is the list brief. It gives you basically all the information that you really need, skipping out on most of the stuff you don't. So from here, we can do WMIC base board, which is your motherboard. List brief, it'll give you information on your motherboard. And for these other keywords, you'll simply look over here. So you can find out the RAM type, etc, etc, with memory chip. So I'll go WMIC memory chip list brief. It'll tell you what kind of RAM you have installed. It's a bit weird that you also have memological, which isn't listed here for some reason. Mem cache, as well as mem physical. But either way, this is the one that you'd use for RAM. You'd use memory chip, etc, etc. The names are a bit odd, but they are easy enough to understand. You have OS over here, which is obviously your operating system, which will give you information about that, information on your page file, 
partitions on your hard disks, information on your printer, on your sound devices, time zone even, UPS if that's connected via serial or something, information on your BIOS, CD-ROM, CPU, and basically all the information you'd ever need will be over here. Of course, you'll need a little bit of computer knowledge to know exactly what you're looking for, but using this very simple tool, you can get all of the information you really need without having to look down and open up your PC. Super useful. Anyways, this website will be linked down in the description below. I wish you the best of luck using this tool. It's been really useful for me and I find myself using it once every few months or so, but it does save me the effort of getting up, opening up my PC, tearing it apart, just to look for one simple brand name. Anyways, my name has been taken over here for Troubleshoot. Hope this video helps you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.